Women of Reddit, what do you think about the fall of Constantinople in 1453 by the Ottoman forces led by Mehmed II? Welp I'm a Greek woman and I'm doing my masters in history, and have done a paper on the music about the fall of Constantinople. In summary, the fall of Constantinople was kind of inevitable. The empire was in its last legs, due in large part to the fall during the Fourth Crusade in 1204. It had a lot of internal and external problems. For example, Constantinos Paleologus was never officially coronated, due to religious infighting. The Ottoman Empire had already conquered all of the farmland around, and was right to go for the kill at the time that it did. It conquered a great strategic and cultural landmark. The Hagia Sophia had already become a mosque on 29th of May 1453, 2.30 in the afternoon. It's a pity for my heritage, but at that time I think it was inevitable. Edit, WTF guys thanks. OO edit number 2, actually no, guys, the paper wasn't on there might be giants. It was on Greek folk laments on the event of the fall, and how accurate were their lyrics in relation to the actual event. They were fairly accurate, also deeply sad and lamenting the loss of a symbol, mostly, not the city itself. Finally a serious answer to the question. I came for the jokes, and I left as a better educated person. It's a win-win. No, I don't believe that's a controversial take. Yes you do. Now listen here you. Username checks out. A real answer? Hold up. But as a fellow history student, I concur. Conquer we must retake the holy land. Whoa now, getting a little too crusade why up in here. Did somebody say crusade? Armor's up. Crap, well if you're armored up I guess I should be too. Where'd I put my cod piece? You hid it away in shame after realizing it would never measure up to David Bowie's cod piece in Labyrinth. Web link. Ironically, the city's fate was sealed when the Fourth Crusaders captured, pillaged and looted the city in 1204. At the time, Constantinople was the spiritual capital of the Eastern Orthodoxy, and as a result relations between Catholicism and the Orthodoxy were deeply damaged. The city was damaged, weakened, and ultimately, easier for Mehmet Fadi to conquer. Effing Venetians blew up the Parthenon too. That's why I chose to denounce Venice. You, too, can join the holy order of denouncing Venice, friend. It's still the capital of orthodoxy. Patriarch Bartholomew's seat is in Istanbul. Obviously, it's far from what it was, but officially, we pretend it still is. I'm impressed at finding a serious answer this high up. The fact Constantinos Paleologus was never crowned still triggers me to this day. It was very sexy of him to move the ships over land. As an Istanbulite, I love this mess of a city. As a 23-year-old, I don't like that he did it at the tender age of 21. Do you know the kind of pressure our elders put on us because so-and-so's son conquered Istanbul at 21 and we're sitting at home jobless? Very uncool. Not even a joke, they actually say that lol. Can you throw it back at them? Like, IKR, if only I had his kind of elders, can you imagine how great my generation could be? The OK Boomer of Istanbulites OK Istanboomer The avocado toast in Istanbul is world class Oh crap yes If only we all had kingdoms to inherit As a dork for ancient Greece and Rome I can't wait to throw the year 26 Alexander conquered half the known world by now and you're just now getting your doctorate? Card at my kids if I had an army and it was acceptable to start conquering by that age then I probably would find a way to F it up. Kam sun an so kugu istanbulu fithi dyer sen hala telefondisen. That's easy for you to say. As someone who doesn't speak Turkish it's really not. I thought that was the joke. One of you is getting whooshed and I'm not sure who edit, to nobody's surprise, it was me. It's not the whoosh we came for, but the friends we made along the way. I came looking for copper, and I found whoosh. If you look around your poker table and can't tell who's getting whooshed, it's probably you. 
I don't like that he did it at the tender age of 21. Do you know the kind of pressure our elders put on us because so and so's son conquered Istanbul at 21 and we're sitting at home jobless? If our elders left me a massive state with a grand army and big ass cannons, I would have conquered some place too. Instead, they are leaving us a effed up economy. You shouldn't have bought all of those avocado kebabs. I wish I had gold to give you for this comment. Dear parents, more cannons and less debt, please. Love, your offspring. I wish I could give you more upvotes. You deserve it. Love your pet extra or something in place for it, D. You should probably stop being lazy and go conquer something then. Not even Turkish but I felt that. Fatih and Istanbulu Fatidigi Yastasin. I don't know, if I were him I probably just wouldn't have fell. Ah, gravity. Thou art a heartless bitch. Constantinople, 1453 edit, thank you for my first awards, kind strangers. What's your formula for the corner? Sucks to be him but I'm built different. Excuse me Mr. Bones, I don't think this question is directed to you. I would be interested to hear what Mrs. Bones' thoughts are, though. Hopefully his fall was cushioned by one of the Ottomans. Edit, wow. I did not expect a pun I made during an unnecessary work call to take off like this. Thanks to everyone for the awards. I haven't gotten this many hugs since the pre-COVID days. Edit 2, okay, I was just trying to be polite, but I can see how my first edit came off as cringeworthy. When your award speech is two and a half times longer than your original comment. Might as well thank your mama at that point. Textbook or slash award speech edits, reddit link. Our slash award speech edits, reddit link. If I could award you I so would. Edit, oh my god? I got it. Hey Otto man. Hey Bart dude. I like cities that weren't captured. When a guy finally asks me this in a bar after I buy him a drink, and he really listens to the answer, is the day all of my underwear will vanish. Immediately. Edit, there's nothing wrong with buying a man a drink. Y'all kings deserve a whiskey and coke and a compliment just as much as I do. Well, I have a new pickup line with a much higher chance of success than all of my others, one in about 4 billion. I like those chances. She has to buy you a drink first. Back to zero buddy, sorry. This does imply that the original post is willing to buy people drinks, which narrows down the pool from just women to women who want to buy you a drink. If anything the odds just increased. Yeah. Math. Math and history, the key to getting women's underwear off. Math and history, the key to getting women's underwear off. I do it with my brains, he said, I do it with my brains. And here, inside my massive head, I'm making giant gains. The ladies see my intellect, the gentlemen, my mind, and where the places intersect and all the space behind. You see, there's nothing quite as fine, there's nothing quite as dear, there's nothing quite as damn divine as what's contained in here. He pointed to his furrowed brow, and with a smile, he spoke, it's time to drop your panties now. Let's give my brain a poke. I don't remember this from Hamilton. Lin-Manuel Miranda wishes he was this fresh. In college, I hooked up with a guy after a concert. Afterward, we laid in bed and discussed the impact of the Industrial Revolution. Hands down the best Marine I ever spent time with. I have a date tomorrow night. I'll ask her this and hope for the best. I say that because I am an uncultured swine who learned about the fall of Constantinople reading the title of this post. Basically, I hope she does not say what about you? Because in that case, I will die. Edit, alright guys I'll tell you how it went. I matched her on Tinder, I hope she's as clever user fluffy clamshell. I mean, read her other comments on this thread. She has very extensive all-round knowledge. Reddit link. You say, I think it was the true end of the Roman Empire. Crazy how an empire can last almost 1500 years huh? It is strange to think that someone could watch the fall of the Roman Empire and in their lifetime watch Columbus sail away to pillage the New World. 
Well it's not that odd since the fall of Constantinople was directly related to Columbus sailing west. It shut off trade to the east through a Christian port so everyone was looking for new trade routes. I think it's just really hot for a guy to ask something that so clearly shows an interest in intellect instead of the fastest way to bend me over. How you doing? Heard it really, wasn't Nietzsche a bit overwrought about God? Okay, baby I see you. Let me pay for your beverages while you lay that frontal lobe on me. I think I am in lobe with you. This guy lobes. He's a warrior of lobe. How about some biology? Or maybe cosmology? I'm not very well versed on history. I'm just fascinated by the longevity of the Egyptian civilization but apart from that, I only know very common occidental capitalist with war winning bias history like World War 1 and 2. I should get into history. I mean it lead to where we are. What do you recommend I should start with? Nice panty dropping strategy bro. Dude. I may have a shot here let me do my thing. Oops my bad. Ladies of Reddit, have you met my dude user Regal Cooper? Reddit link. Thanks bro. The way I met my GF, then wife, was full of that. Even better, we already knew which authors and books the other liked, which were our preferred movies, what were our political views, etc., before knowing what the other looked like. I was already in love with her before meeting her in person. Of course it helped when I saw how beautiful she was. Don't know yet how she didn't run away and I'm still thankful for that miracle. Edit, English. Odd phrasing. English. Well, Istanbul was Constantinople, but now, it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. So, if you've a date in Constantinople, she'll be waiting in Istanbul. Every girl in Constantinople knows it's Istanbul, not Constantinople. Even old New York, was once New Amsterdam. Why they changed it, I can't say. People just liked it better that way. So, take me back to Constantinople no, you can't go back to Constantinople been a long time gone, Constantinople why did Constantinople get the works? That's nobody's business but the Turks. O, A, O, A, O. Istanbul 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 starts over. Even old New York, was once New Amsterdam. Why they changed it? I can't say. People just liked IT better that YE. So take me back to Constantinople, no you can't go back to Constantinople. Been a long time gone, Constantinople. Why did Constantinople get the works? That's nobody's business but the Turks. Istanbul Ul. I love Reddit. Beautiful work everyone. Slash r slash redisings, reddit link. R slash they might be gents, reddit link. Interestingly Istanbul means to the city and was a period nickname that organically became the name. What can I say nicknames for cities are an old concept? Just rename New York to Big Apple, then. Why did Constantinople get the works? That's nobody's business but the Turks. The fact that this song ignores Byzantium drives me nuts. Preach. I felt myself aging when I referenced TMBG at work and nobody on my team knew who they were. Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.